Hi grade 12s, today we are going to be looking at the hyperbola functions or hyperbola graphs. We are going to be looking at the vertical asymptotes which, are, which is uh, VA and the horizontal asymptotes which is HA and the, the, the idea is just simple. Uh, it carries the idea of just a shifting uh, in a Cartesian plane. It's a shift in, a, in the Cartesian plane uh, what is a Cartesian plane? Cartesian plane is it's just two uh, uh, lines that cross, which they, they, they have y-axis and x-axis. A Cartesian plane is the most important tool used to, to draw uh, different graphs. Okay, this is a vertical asymptote, which is VA. How does VA form? It is formed by uh, shifting a vertical line of the Cartesian plane, maybe two units. Say maybe you, you shift it two units because it was here, right? And it shifts two units. Here it was zero. It says one, two. If it is like this, then this is the vertical asymptote. And it is always denoted with the uh, dotted line. Vertical asymptote, it will be like this now. It is a dotted line. The horizontal asymptote is a shift uh, in the y values now, not the x values. Like here we've got three. Huh? Uh, we can shift this line, this horizontal line up here. Uh, that's a shift uh, of what? HA or horizontal asymptote. We shift this horizontal line. When it is here, now we've got what? A horizontal asymptote right let me bring it back um, this is a horizontal asymptote it moves up by three units uh, let's look at uh, the positive and negative graphs a positive graph and a negative graph hyperpolar graph this one is a positive one and this is another hyperpolar graph and this one is a negative one i don't want to use the the word to cram but i just want to use the word to memorize how to memorize a positive graph from a negative graph all right uh, here for a positive graph we know that in this in the Cartesian plane y's are positive here and x's are also positive here but the y's are negative here down here and the x's are what they are also negative here because this graph contains uh, a portion whereby it, it moves where there is both positive and positive for y and x uh, values. So now, uh, and also uh, here, this side, uh, x and y are all, uh, they are both negative. But for this one, you can see that only y is positive this side and x is negative. And also here, y is negative and x is positive. So there's no... There's no portion whereby uh, they are all positive, like here. So here they are all positive here, and they are all negative. But here it's just a mixture. So that is how you're going to memorize the, the negative graph from positive graph, right? Let's say now we've got this equation, y equals to just 1 over x, 1 over x. So for here there's no vertical asymptotes and no horizontal asymptote. And you will see why VA, which is the vertical asymptote, will be equals to zero. And also our HA, our HA, which is the horizontal asymptote, will also be equals to zero. We've got no vertical asymptote, no horizontal asymptote. Right, then we can draw a table here right this is x here and y here right so we've got zero asymp uh, zero vertical asymptote and also zero uh, horizontal asymptote what is the number that is one lesser than zero the number that is one lesser than zero will be negative one and the number that is one greater one unit greater than zero will be one right i think we agree on that now we are going to substitute these values, this value, we substitute this value from the equation and also this value from the same equation. Y is equals to 1 over x, which is our formula, 
Then uh, we've got uh, equal sign, we've got one over negative one. Our y here will be equal to negative one, right? That is our, the point that matches this one. We'll substitute this one also from the same equation. Now, y is equals to same formula, one over x, and then we substitute one over, now we've got also one here, which means our y will be equals to one. So here we, we put one, then we are able to plot our graph here. Our graph will be like this. And there is no shift here. Remember that uh, the, the asymptotes, they mean one thing, just a shift. Always remember the asymptote, it has a an idea of a shift. If there is no asymptote, there will be no shift, right? Just remember that. We'll have negative one here and one here, negative one here and one here. Where x is zero, y is zero, it's here. Then where x is negative one, y is negative one also, which means it's it's this point, x is negative 1 and y is negative 1 also, right? Another point is where x is positive 1, y will also be a positive 1, which is here. It is here. Then we are able to plot our graph. Our graph will go like this and also like that. This is our graph for the equation y equals to 1 over x. Remember we said that uh, there is a negative graph also. Let's just do it also, just for your benefit so that you can see it. Let's say we've got y equals to negative one now over x, not one over x, negative one over x. Then uh, we will have something like, and, and also here, our VA will also be what? Zero. And also our HA, which is the horizontal asymptote, will also be what? Be equal to zero because there's no shift here for, for this one. Now we will make a table. We've got X, we've got Y values. Then uh, here, we, where there is X for, for the asymptotes, where there is X, where there is zero, there is zero also. What is the number? One unit below zero, it's negative one. And, and, uh, and above zero, one unit is one. What we're going to do, we are going to be substituting this negative one from the formula now. And, and, and it will be y equals to negative one. We, we write the formula as it is. Negative one over x. Then we will have negative one over negative one. Now the answer will be positive one. Our y will be positive one here then we put positive one then again we have uh, write the same formula y equals to negative one over x now we are substituting this this one from the original formula it's negative one over one now which means our answer will be y equals to negative one then we put negative one here then we can be able to plot our graph. And, and remember our graph here now, we are expecting a graph like this now because it's a negative graph. Negative one, negative one also. We have one here and one here. Where there is zero, there is zero, which is here. Where there is negative one, there is positive one. Where there is negative one, there is positive one in the y values. And then uh, when where there is positive one in the x values, like here, there is negative one uh, on the y values. So the point, then the next point will be here. This is how our graph will go. It goes like this, goes like this. This is how our graph looks like. Right. So I was just doing it for your, for your benefit to include even the negative one. Now let's go to another examples or another problems. It's either they, they, they have a vertical asymptote and zero horizontal asymptote, or there's a value of both the vertical asymptote and the horizontal asymptote. Let's go for it now. Y equals to 
1 over x minus 4. The vertical asymptote is now not 0. The vertical asymptote now will be equal to what? Positive 4. When it is negative 4, you will put positive 4. When it is positive 4, you will say negative 4. Why are we doing that? It's because it's like it's like it's x minus 4 equals to 0. x will be equals to positive 4 because you take this 4 from this side to the other side of the equal sign and you will change the sign to be positive. And if it was positive here, it will change to be negative here. That is why we, we've, we've, we are having uh, we, that change of a value. When it is negative here, it becomes positive. That's the only reason. The horizontal asymptote for this one uh, is equals to zero. Why is it equals to zero? Uh, I'll give you another example whereby it will it will not be zero. But for those examples, it's it's either it will be positive the plus something or plus one plus two and so on. Uh, then it will be what it will be having the horizontal asymptote also maybe negative 3 or negative any any negative uh, or positive something here then it is having a horizontal asymptote but if there is nothing here plus or minus something then it has got only a, a vertical asymptote and the horizontal will remain as zero until something is added here now that we've got uh, the vertical asymptote and the uh, horizontal asymptote, then we, we always uh, make a table. Then here we've got x and y. For the VA we've got 4, but for HA we've got what? 0. What is uh, 1 unit uh, less than 4? It's 3. Yeah? And here it's 5. It's 3, 5. We will substitute this 3 from the original equation, right? When we substitute three, it will be y equals to one over three now. Three minus four, three minus four, y will be equals to. Now, when when you say three minus four, it, it will be negative one. So negative one into positive one, then you will get negative one. So the answer here be y equals to negative 1. So which means it's negative 1 here. And then we are also going to substitute this one also from the original equation. Then how are we going to do that? We say y will also be equals to 1 over now. We put 5 here, 5 minus 4. Our y will be positive 1. So I'm going to show you something. The graph that we are going to find here will be equal with the graph that we had here. Will be equal. The values, as you can see, the output values are the same, negative 1 and 1. Uh, so they, they will be, the, the graph will be exactly like this, but there is a shift now. That's the difference now that there is a shift. See here, it's negative 1, and also here, it's positive 1. The shift is like this. We remember that where there is 4, there is 0. So which means the shift is all, it's only here at 4 unit. Then that's where we've got our, we, we've got our vertical asymptote here. It's 0 here. We've got only the vertical asymptote. But the, the, the horizontal asymptote is there, but it's 0. Let me indicate it so that you see that it is there. But it's just that it is 0, the, the horizontal asymptote. Alright, that was a, a, a vertical asymptote. Now, uh, let's see what are the points that we are having where there is 3, there is negative 1. So, which means that that's the point here. And then also where there is 5 in the x values, there is 1 in the y values. So, which means the point is here. There must be 5 here, positive 5 in the x values. Where there is 5, there should be 1 in the y values. So, which means we've got this point also. Where there is 5, there is 1. So, our graph will go like this and also like this. So, you can actually see now that the graph is not going through this <coughs> Cartesian plane, this cross. It's not you using this cross now, the graph. It's shifting to the new cross, but it's the same cross 
but the new cross now. So the graph it has shifted. The graph will be, you know, will be in the same place like this. Will be just in the same place like this. It just shifted just because of the vertical and horizontal asymptotes. Right. Now that was a shift. Okay, that was the graph. Then we move on to another graph. Now this one I wanted to include also the horizontal asymptote so that you see how it happens when it has got also the y in uh, with the horizontal asymptote. Let's say that we've got y equals to one over x plus one, then plus two. Now we we are having a horizontal asymptote, uh, uh, asymptote uh, also. And then VA, which is the vertical asymptote, will be equal to, you know now, will be equal to negative 1. And our horizontal asymptote, which is HA, will be equal to what? 2. This one is our horizontal asymptote. And this one here, it, it just changes the sign and becomes our negative 1, which is our vertical asymptote. Now that we've got this one, now we can draw a table. We've got x here and y here. For VA, it's negative 1. For HA, we've got 2. Sorry, I didn't put 2 here. W which one is uh, less than negative 1? It's negative 2, obviously, and 0 here. When you go up, you say negative 2, negative 1, and 0, right? Here, we, we will be substituting this negative 2 from the original equation and also zero from the original equation. We go step by step, the video becomes long because I don't want you to ask some questions inside yourself. I want to try and answer all the questions here. I won't jump some important steps. Now we substitute negative two where there is x, negative two plus one, then plus two. It's very, very important here. If, if you've got plus something or minus something, you include it here because once you forget to, to add this plus 2, then the answer will be wrong. Now, negative 2 plus 1 will be negative 1, right? Negative 1 into 1, it's negative 1 plus 2. So negative 1 plus 2, it's positive 1. This is our y. So here it's positive 1. y will be equals to 1 over, now we substitute 0, right? 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 into 1 is positive 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, it's 3 here, our y will be equals to 3, so we put 3 here. Now we can plot a graph here, negative 1, this is our, uh, this is our VA, our HA will be 2, HA is 2, then we've got 3 here, then we've got negative 2. Our vertical asymptote is like this, and our horizontal asymptote is like this. 2 is here, negative 1 here. Where there is negative 2, it will be 1 here. And I, I, I should put this 1 here. There is 1 here, positive 1 for y values, right? And then again, where there is 0, there is 3. So there is only y value, which is 3, 3 here. So the graph will come like this, it will go like this, and also like this. And also it's a positive graph, you can see that it's a positive graph. Right, sometimes you will find a equation whereby there is, uh, where there is squared in a denominator, x squared here. Also the VA will be equals to zero as usual, and also HA equals to zero. But now the graph will differ. Now the graph will be like this. Both will be on top of uh, the x values. Now what about when y is equals to negative now? Negative 1 over x squared. Then this is what is going to happen now. That's a negative graph for x squared denominator. Right, let's try an example here and say y equals to negative, just a negative 1. We are always doing the positive ones. Let's just change and do just a negative one, a negative one, a negative graph. X minus three, all squared now, because we are talking about the squared denominator. Right, then our VA, 
VA will be equals to positive 3. Same thing as here. You just change the sign here for VA. If it's positive, you say negative. So it's the same thing here. If it's negative, you say positive here. So it's just the same thing. And our H A, same thing also. It's just the difference is just the graph, uh, how it looks. Then VA is also zero because there is no plus what or negative what here. Right, so now uh, we, we do a table as usual. The only thing that will change is the, 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 the shape of uh, the um, graph. Then X and Y here. Then we've got three here and zero here, as usual. Eh? Then we've got two here, one unit less and four here. We are going to be substituting two from the original uh, equation. Now, that, now we've got y equals to negative, don't forget this negative, negative, where there is x we will say 2 minus 3 all squared. Then the answer will be negative 1 here, you can calculate it for yourself, negative 1. Then also we are substituting this 4 from the original equation y now is equals to negative 1 over 4, where there is x we put 4, minus 3 all squared. Now y will be equals to negative 1. You, you can actually see it's negative 1, negative 1. The y values here, when there is x squared, the y values will be the same. So which means here it's also negative 1. What is the va? Our va will be 3 our HA is zero. Then let's label our VA. Our VA will start from here going down. That's our VA. Where there is uh, two, it's negative one. So let's put two here where there is positive two. Let's change the color. So let's put two here and negative one here. So the so which means the point will be here. And again, where there is 4, it, it is negative 1 also. Because it's both negative 1. Then, which means we've got also a 4 here. Then, where there is 4, there is negative 1. It's 4 and negative 1. 2 and negative 1. Our graph will be like this. So that's our graph for this one. And let's just do the last example whereby yeah, we, we've got also the horizontal asymptote, then we will be done. So now let's say we've got y equals to 1 over x plus 2 all squared minus 3 here. Now we've got also the, the, the horizontal asymptote. So V, our V will be VA. Now it's not a vertex, it's a, it's a vertical asymptote. Our VA will be equals to negative 2. And our horizontal asymptote, which is uh, HA, will be equals to negative 3. Now notice that when, when, when it's, it's uh, the, the horizontal asymptote, you don't change the sign. Even if it's negative 3, you just put it like that. But for VA, we change the sign here. We change the sign. It becomes what? Negative 2. So keep that in mind. This is our X. This is our Y. So we've got negative 2 here and negative 3. So what is below 2? It's negative 1. It's negative 3 and negative 1. Right. So we are going to be substituting this negative 3 from this whole equation and negative 1 from the same equation. Now we've got y equals to 1 over where there is x we say negative 3 plus 2 all squared minus 3. Then y will be equals to negative 2. So our y will be negative 2 here. We substitute now, we substitute 1. y equals to 1 over, where there is x, we say negative 1, 
plus 2 all squared minus what? 3. Our y will be equals to negative 2 all, uh, negative 2 also. Remember, they will be the same, same values. Two, negative 2 and negative 2. So, negative 2 also here. Then let's try to plot a graph here. Let's see if it will fit here. Now we start by the horizontal and vertical asymptotes. Where, where is our vertical asymptote? Our vertical asymptote is in negative 2, right? And then our horizontal asymptote now it's in negative 3. That's our horizontal asymptote. Where there is negative 3, there is a negative 2. So here is negative 3 and negative 2. It's here. Then where is, there is negative 1, there is negative 2. It's, it is here. Be careful here. The graph will go like this, right? And, and also here, right? Be careful here. Don't think that the graph will go like this and, uh, and like this. Uh, you just look at this cross, which is a dotted cross. Then you you just plot it like this. I think it is clear here uh, about the hyperbola functions. And maybe if, let's say we will come again and talk about something else, maybe some touch-ups on the hyperbola. But this is the, this is the basic information of which you, you have to know, of which it's um, the vertical asymptotes, the, the horizontal asymptote and that the idea is just uh, it is uh, the hyperpolar function they are specializing in shifting in shifting where they stand so that's all for today